Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be making calzones in your Ninja Foodie Grill. So I really don't have that much to say. Come on over and let's get started. To get started with this video, what you're going to do is you're going to take your ceramic pan, make sure it's in there. Also make sure your mesh screen is in. And today we're going to be using the roasting rack. Just put it right in there and close the lid. We're going to turn our Ninja Foodi grill on. You're going to select Air Crisp. And I'm turning this down to 375 and we're going to hit start. Right now it's just preheating. If you're going to be using ricotta cheese in your calzone, my advice to you is to drain the ricotta like overnight in the refrigerator or at least do it for a few hours so you can get that moisture out of the ricotta. If you don't do this step, the calzone will be kind of wet. The moisture will, the dough just doesn't come out right. You don't have to do this, you can skip this step. I have a stainless steel bowl, I have a mesh strainer. I'm also going to be using a piece of cheesecloth. Now I'm just going to put some ricotta in there, how much I think I'm going to be using. So what I like to do, you're going to take this up just like this and just put it off to the side. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a weight on top of this ricotta. And all that moisture will come out of that ricotta and drip down into the stainless steel bowl. So you can put a weight on top of the ricotta. That's just going to help the moisture come out. So I purchased a pre-made pizza dough. So what I'm going to do is just cut this off. And you're going to take this dough out of this bag. I also have a little stainless steel bowl of flour. I'll just put my hands in there because I don't want this dough. I'm just trying to prevent the dough from sticking to my hands. Now in regard to this pizza dough, it's probably been out for at least an hour, hour and a half. Because I want this to come up to temperature. You don't want to work with this when it's like ice cold. I am going to form this into a ball. I'm going to take some of this flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour. You're going to put it on your bench. Take a bench knife or a knife and you're going to cut this in half. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this one dough and just put it off to the side. It's going to put a cloth over the top of it. Now we're going to work with this guy right here. You're going to flatten it out. We're going to try to turn this into like a circle. You're going to use your fingers and you can use a rolling pin. Now surprisingly enough, I don't have a rolling pin here. Mine is actually in Florida. So I'm just going to use an olive oil bottle and roll this dough out. Now if this dough, see how it's not cooperating and it's springing back? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another cloth over the top of this and you're going to let this rest probably anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. That'll make the, more, the dough more pliable and easier to work with. Okay, so I let the dough rest for a bit. Now we're going to work on this dough. Try to make it, turn it into a circle. So we finally fought with this dough and have won. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to take some of this low moisture mozzarella cheese and we're just going to put some cheese down. just like that. Now you can make this as, with as much cheese as you want or as little cheese as you want. It's all up to you. Next we're going to take some of that ricotta that's been draining. Now I like ricotta. I don't want a ton of ricotta in here. Like I said, it's all personal preference. Oh, that's the amount of ricotta that I'm going to use. Next comes the pepperoni. You can use whatever you want in here. You can use ham, you can use salami, you could use sausage, spinach, whatever you want to put in this calzone. Just a few more pieces. Perfect. And what I like to do is just add a little bit more cheese on top. Once again, this is the low moisture mozzarella cheese. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to take this, you're going to stretch this top, and you're just going to put it right over the top of this. Tuck everything up in there. 
I like to press this down. Once again, make sure it's tucked. Press down. Now you can see we have excess dough here. You can go ahead and cut this off like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch this up. Once again, pinch. Pinch it. Oh, this is going to be so good. You're going to take a sharp knife. You and you want to have some vent pockets. Make sure you open it up because you want the steam and the moisture to escape. Perfect. Now you can use avocado oil or olive oil. This is avocado oil and I'm just going to spray this calzone down. This has been preheating for quite some time. I'm going to raise the lid. What I like to do is just spray so it doesn't stick. You're going to pick this calzone right up. You put the calzone right there. Immediately shut the lid. Now remember, this is 375. It defaults to 20 minutes. Now I know this is going to be done in around 13, 14 minutes. So while this one is cooking for the 13 or the 14 minutes, I'm going to take that other piece of pizza dough and go ahead and make another calzone, but without the ricotta cheese. rolled out so much easier I can say that so the longer you let your dough rest I'm thinking probably like 20 minutes you have to let it rest to not spring back so much <laughs> Take that top, you're going to stretch it just a bit so it can go over the top. This one's been cooking for 10 minutes. We're going to pop the top. That is looking beautiful and gorgeous. What I'm going to do is just take the sauce in a rain can, place it right in here, and it's going to warm that sauce right up for you. Cooking for 13 minutes. Beautiful. Now I am going to take a temp of the internal. I just want to see, make sure everything's melted. Yep. Now I always temp the dough too. This is a thicker dough. That's done. 208 to 10. Now this calzone is done. So what we're going to do is going to take a spatula and it lifts right out of here. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm just going to put it on a wooden cutting board and let it cool. Now this sauce, if you want to take this out, you can actually use a spatula. Get underneath there and take that out. Just like that. And I'm just going to put this over on the stove. There we go. Let me give this a, a spray. Once again, I'm using avocado oil. I'm going to go ahead and open the grill. I am going to take a spatula. Use your bench scraper. Pick this up and just put it right in there. Immediately close the lid. I'm going to dump, bump this back up to, oops, just 15 minutes. Because I know it's going to take 13 minutes to cook this calzone. So it's been 13 minutes. I'm going to raise the lid. This guy is gorgeous. Let me lift this. Look at this. Oops, can you see it? Beautiful. I'm going to put it right over here on the cutting board and we're going to let that rest for a few minutes. Time for that taste test. I already tasted it. We're going to take the one with the ricotta. This one, it's my preference. Dip it in a little sauce. Delicious. My face is probably dirty. Sorry, everybody. Let's go for the pepperoni pizza pocket. Look at that. Take a little taste. Mm. 
sorry. Delicious. If you like this video on how to make calzones, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, hit the notifications button, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget about that great Facebook group. Thanks everybody.